Hey, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Ayla, also known as AKA. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry for the energy. The energy. Today, I have quite an exciting video for you. I have another brand review and details video, like try on haul video. I quite like making these because I get to delve into sort of the brand behind what I'm wearing, learn a little bit more about them, learn about their sustainability, about their ethics, basically just everything, everything that I can find that is. The last few ones I've been able to find out loads of information because they're smaller businesses. This one was harder because they're a bigger business, so obviously they hide certain things, they're not letting you know of certain things. So, we'll get into that. Today's video is about Jaded London slash Jaded Man. Um, they are a brand in London that I absolutely adore, mainly because they make some pretty sick tracksuits. As you can see, today I have bought three tracksuits from them. One of them was a Christmas present, and the other two I bought myself. So I have three tracksuits for you today, which is very exciting. Three to add to the collection. And they're all kind of more like statement ones, which is really cool. Um, so I'm super happy about that. So today we're talking about Jaded London. The so Jaded London was actually started in 2013 by actually two siblings, Jade and Grant Goulden. Before they started the brand, Jade was an ASOS buyer, so she did know a little bit about sort of the industry, the gap, gaps in the market. She knew about sort of um, how to run a business, how to merchandise, how to manufacture, everything around that. So she knew some things, so just decided to start her own business. Um, their brand seems to be sort of all about urban streetwear, loud prints, but they are sort of meshing into more what the now is, so what is more popular at the moment. So a lot of like reworked denim um, is in their collections, a lot of, a lot of tracksuits because let's be honest, tracksuits are just great. <laughs> Um, there's a few more I'd like to get from them, but I have three for you today. Their designs have been worn on some pretty big people. Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Rita Ora. I also found out that they're stocked in Topshop Selfridges, which surprises me for some reason. I just feel like Selfridges is a little bit more high-end than that because their designs are not that expensive compared to a lot of brands. Urban Outfitters as well stock them, and as well as ASOS. So, which is very interesting. I was trying when I bought these ones to like see if I could get more of a discount on ASOS than on the website. I couldn't, I also couldn't find all the pieces on ASOS, so they obviously only stock certain things. So they currently have on their website um, an offer which is 20% off for all NHS, emergency services, asset police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses, anybody that's in the NHS, all those emergency services, uh, paramedics, that sort of thing. 20% off if they have a blue light card, and from what I can understand, a blue light card is like a discount card for those types of uh, workforces. So if you can have valid proof of that, then they give you 20% off, which I think is really good amidst this whole coronavirus pandemic. The fact that they're um, offering discounts to those who need it, um, in terms of you know people that are working so hard to save lives at the moment So I think it's really great that that's something that they do Because um, I know a lot of brands did do it and are still doing it But I think a lot of brands did it more at the start of the pandemic as sort of like a look at us We're doing good things and then like didn't continue it um, But they've continued it so it's really amazing They also have a jaded man line which is run by the brother portion of the sibling duo Grant. He runs the Jaded Man line and they are in Top Man and River Island as well. In terms of packaging, unfortunately I did do these three orders separately which was very naughty of me because I was only intending to buy one and then I bought two and then I bought three all at separate different occasions when I gave in to the um, urges of tracksuits. And so basically I'm just going to show you the packaging from one because I actually have been selling quite a few things on Depop. If you are in the UK, check out my Depop. It is at Ayla K. Ando, I think. I'm going to put it on the screen anyway. <laughs> check out my Depop. I've been selling a couple things and I try and repurpose the packaging for sending those orders so I don't have to keep like, putting it waste out into the world. If I can just keep sending things with packaging I've already received, not only does it work out cheaper, but it also works out better for the environment. So, the packaging that it comes in is this sort of bag style situation. Um, 
it does have all of their handles on the back there and their website. And then it does say at the bottom, 100% recyclable material used. So it means that all of the packaging that is used is recyclable, which I commend them for. And it also has a resealable strip so that if you want to send it back, return anything, you can just rip it off because a lot of people I think would just throw this out and then use something else to send things back. So it's really good they provide this. So they try and encourage you to reuse this packaging. Um, and that's exactly what I use when I send Depop orders away. So it's really useful. And then they also come with individual packaging for each thing. Again, I think this is recyclable. It does have a little recyclable sign at the bottom. It comes with plastic packaging for each item, which is, I mean, nowadays everything comes in plastic individual packaging unfortunately but it is recyclable so at least you can recycle these i can't repurpose them at all for depop like i mean i could put clothes in here and then send it to people for what's the point of that but it's used anyway so you may as well just recycle these straight away and then it also comes with your obviously your returns form and a st oh stickers oh my gosh i did not realize this i didn't get that for my other orders oh i probably threw them out oh my god i probably threw them out I will. I have some nice, cute little Jaded London stickers. I cannot believe I didn't notice that before because I've probably thrown the other ones out from the other packages. But anyway, I only kept one. So it also comes with some cute little stickers as well. So, so these are the tags that come with every item. So you can't really see it. It's like a credit card, basically, material. It's like quite flimsy, but it comes with everything. Um, I don't know if these are recyclable or not. I'm not really sure what to do with them. I think a lot of people might maybe like pin them to their wall or like pin them to a board or something. But it, like it's a cool idea. I just don't know if it's that sustainable in terms of like, like what do I do with these now? I don't want to like throw them in the recycling because they're not recyclable, but I don't want to throw them in the bin. I'm not too sure. I think you're sort of supposed to keep these like as a cool like thing, but. I've bought three tracksuits in the last three weeks. I'm not keeping six little credit card tags. <laughs> so I'm not really too sure what to do with those. But yeah, I wanted to mention that as well. One thing I did want to comment on before I get into the try-on portion of the video, I couldn't find a lot of information about them online in terms of where they manufacture, ethics, that type of thing. Unfortunately, you can only do as much as a Google search at the moment. And yeah, it's just about unfortunate that they don't have that information sort of just listed somewhere. I mean, it will say on the clothes. So it does say on the clothing that it is made in Turkey, but again, I don't know the ethics of that situation because obviously, regardless of the country, there's going to be um, ethics issues in terms of manufacturing. So yeah. It's kind of one of those hard things, I, I can't like look into it, unfortunately, um, to know exactly what their ethics are. I will keep trying to research so that if the information pops up, I can know about it. But for now, all I know that it's made in Turkey. One thing I want to comment on is they, I was sort of looking at their Instagram the other day and trying to figure out sizing for one of the tracksuits that I wanted to get. And I was scrolling through the comments and all of the comments were like, you've copied at somebody a rather's design you've copied copying you're copying all of this stuff and i was like well what is this clicked on the person's account i'm going to pop some screenshots up on the screen just so that you can you know see exactly what i saw so basically jaded london had this reworked from home competition i think it was like back middle of the year or earlier in the year something like that and what they did was they asked people to interpret designs I think or like rework a design at home so people designed things and made things and sent in submissions and then from that Jade Lennon picked a winner and then that winner had their design like manufactured and everything and I think the runners have got some money or something like that which is pretty cool I think also the winner got a percentage of the sales from that item probably would have been a limited run like only a certain amount made sort of thing I can pop um, a picture up here of the winning look it's very just like easy to sell commercial I don't think they really went for like the best design if that makes sense like it's a good design don't get me wrong but I think they more went for like what can we manufacture easily what will sell to a lot of people and so that is what that design is so that's the winner I don't know who the winner is like I only found out from that Facebook post that that is the winner so basically there's specific there's a specific young sort of like designer slash artist I'm not gonna like mention their name or like I'm gonna cross it out in the screenshots and that sort of thing because you can go find out for yourself and I don't really want to talk about anybody's name you know if that makes sense so you can go find out for yourself 
Um, but basically, he posted, James London have copied my design. So he's not saying interpreted, taken inspiration from, he's saying copied. So he's really calling them out. Um, and he's sort of saying repost it, share it, and tag them in the comments. He's shown his design for the competition that he sent in, and then he's shown what he thinks they've copied. I'm not going to comment on whether I think they did or not. I think that's up to everybody's own interpretation. Um, but just in terms of like commenting on that this is an issue that people have brought up with Jaded London. It was with another designer as well, but when I was looking through their account, I couldn't see any of that, if that makes sense. I couldn't see any posts that were saying they copied my design, this was my design, this was theirs. I can't see that anywhere, so I can't comment again on whether that was proper or not. I'm not really too sure. Um, but yeah, so basically talking about copying designs. So, I mean, you can have a look for yourself, see what you think. Um, they haven't commented on it, which is something that, I don't know, it makes them look a little bit more guilty, I guess. But they haven't commented on anything at all. They're not replying to any of the comments regarding it. I haven't seen any news articles or anything where they've spoken out about it. So I think it's sort of just something they've tried to sweep under the rug and ignore. Uh, whether that's a right or wrong thing to do, up to interpretation again. But it is a question that has been brought up with them. So I wanted to mention it just so you sort of are aware of that. Now I'm going to show you what I bought on a more happy note. <laughs> So the first tracksuit set that I bought is a mixed check oversized hoodie and a mixed check panel wide leg joggers, which I think is from their Highland collection. I really, really love this. I wanted it for so long. I was like, this is me, this is my style, it's a tracksuit, how can I say no? But it was like 120 pounds all up for both pieces, so it's kind of like, mm, better think about it. So I thought about it and then I bought it. Um, so basically these are the pieces. So these are the pants here. They're basically just a jogger. They don't have any elastic at the bottom so they drop nicely on the shoes and again they're just patchwork. They're overlocked seams so exposed seams and so you sort of have this mix of like uh, corduroy, soft corduroy material, plaid, more plaid, <laughs> different plaid, more plaid and then like a white rib, like a white rib material and as you can see you can see it easier with the white rib material you can see those exposed seams there the overlocked seams and then again they just drop out wide these drop so low on your shoes and i've worn them out a couple of times in london and had to like hold them up from my shoes so they don't drag in like the wet mud <laughs> um but yeah so this is really cool so that's the bottoms and then this is the top one thing that was weird about the top and i did send them an email about it is when it arrived it smelled like cigarette smoke I don't know whether that was something to do with the manufacturing or somebody who packed it was smoking or whether they sent it to somebody who was smoking and then that person returned it. It smelled weirdly of smoke but I was too excited about it to return it so I just sprayed it with some perfume because <laughs> it was fine um, but I did email them just to let them know just in case. Um, and yeah, so this is the top Again, it has that plaid detailing sort of soft ribbed corduroy, the top is that ribbed white material and then the back is that soft sort of corduroy material as well. This is super cool. I got the top in a size UK 10, USA 6. And I got the pants in a UK 8, USA 4. This I would have to say is my favourite of the three just because it was the one I wanted for the longest time and couldn't resist getting. So that was number one. Um, the Okay, so the hoodie was originally 65 pounds but I got it for 58.50 and the pants were originally 60 pounds but I got them for 54 and I think that's because I had a 10% off discount so it came to 112.50 pop that one down so that is number one it is my absolute favorite I've worn it like so many times since I bought it can you see that this is the second one. I am obsessed. I don't know if you've seen, I'll try and put a picture on the screen, but I have a like a rainbow equivalent of this in Australia and it was too heavy to either bring with me or get sent over, but it is one of my favourite things on this planet. Um, and so I decided to get this one. I did instead of the women's top, I did get the men's top in this one, um, which is a little bit different in terms of the style. So these are the bottoms here. I got the bottoms in a UK 10, USA 6, and these are them. They sort of have an elasticated waist, and they're like this cloud print, but they're like that Borg material that you can see. It's like that fluffy Borg material. 
they also have some elastic at the bottom as well. These are just so oversized and beautiful. I'm just absolutely obsessed with them. <laughs> the top that I got, I got the men's top. So um, it, there was a women's version, but I liked the men's version more because it was more oversized and it also had a higher sort of collar and I wanted that because it is cold in London. I got the men's top in a medium because again, I love oversized things and I just couldn't resist. So it just has a beautiful zip up the front and it is absolutely massive. Now, I can't find the prices because, again, uh, I got Will to buy it for me as a Christmas present. And that's not me being like a brat. We usually just tell each other what we want and then the other person buys it that's like within a budget so that we don't buy each other things that we don't need or don't want. So that is what I requested from him. I think it was around £90 for both because they were on sale. I think there was some kind of like men's sale going on. So I did get them a little bit. I think one of the things was discounted and the other one wasn't. I can't really remember, but it was around like 90 pounds or just a bit over for both. And then the third tracksuit that I got, I ordered this on Christmas Eve. So it only came yesterday, which is why I'm filming the video today because I'm so excited about it. Um, this is the third tracksuit and the cheapest of the three. So this one is like a pink material. It has like spikes. I don't even know how to describe like this pattern on it and then it has like yin yang and a bunch of different like kind of tattoo patterns on it and it is just beautiful it's just me isn't it it's just like baby pink and it has like cool patterns on it it's like besides my personality you know i got the pens in the uk 10 usa 6 again and then i got the top the top is like a sweatshirt a little bit more than a jacket um so it has just that high neck and it does have like a little bit of a higher collar on it as well. I got the top in a medium again because I wanted it oversized. This material looked softer online. It's not as soft as I thought it was, but it's still super comfortable. So I cannot fault it in that way. Um, and I think this one, so for this one, the joggers were 31 pounds and 50 pence, and then the sweatshirt was 34 pounds and 65 pence. And if you're trying to search for it, it's called the pink bandana print cuff joggers or the pink bandana print oversized sweatshirt. So stunning. So for that one, it cost me £66.15, free shipping again. I think it's free shipping over like £50, so I just get free shipping for all of them. And it's just stunning. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just blind, I'm really tired and hungry today, so maybe. <laughs> um, so if I have missed that, I'm really sorry. But I did have a little research and couldn't find too many things about them, unfortunately. Um, but again, I think I gave a few pieces of information there. You can go and do your own research if you'd like. But I would recommend them in terms of the pieces, the quality, um, just the cool designs and that sort of thing. And the prices are not too bad. And if you can get things on sale, even better so they do have quite a large range with their items and yeah i would recommend them as a brand in terms of the quality and everything like that but again you can go and do your own research have a look at those things about the sort of like copying of designs and that sort of thing as well make your own assumptions and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like comment down below let me know if you own any jaded london pieces and uh, i will see you in the next video bye